Welcome to the Holistic Hospitality Design Podcast, where you'll receive tips, inspiration, and insights on creating intentional environments that foster community, elevated experiences, and well-being. I'm your designer, your host, and your guide, Rachel Lorraine Crawford. Hello, hello. Welcome to episode one of the Holistic Hospitality Design Podcast. I'm super excited to have finally launched the podcast. All of you will be new listening to this episode. So I just wanted to share a little bit about who this podcast is for, a little bit of background about me, and then why I started this podcast because all of that is very important. So to begin, I have another podcast, which is called the Holistic Interior Design Podcast, which is a podcast that supports up and coming, aspiring new holistic interior designers, just sharing my design knowledge of over two decades with the up and coming generation, which I love to give back and I love connecting with them because they're so bright eyed, optimistic, excited, have fresh ideas. And in that podcast, I light a candle. I love creating sacred space. I light a candle and I pull a card. I usually pull a, an oracle deck card or I might pull a tarot card. So today I'm going to light that candle. It's a 100% beeswax candle with a cotton wick. And by lighting this candle, it's really about setting the intention, the intention of connection with all of you, inviting you into this space, creating sacred space, the space between time that can travel through time. So lighting that candle with intention and this is where I would be pulling a card. I'm actually creating my own Oracle deck and I'm going to be sharing um, the different cards that I'm creating with all of you on the podcast. You're kind of getting a sneak peek to the deck. And the first card that I would be pulling for you today is called Clear the Air. And Clear the Air is all about giving refreshed energy into your sacred space. So clearing the air is going to release any stagnant energy that's currently in the space that might be weighing you down or making you feel stuck or sluggish or just not motivated. So to clear the air, I invite you to open your windows in your home, open all the doors and set intention of just clearing away anything that's no longer of use to you. Um, any past energies that are not pushing you forward, that are not elevating your experience that are not raising the vibration in your space, whether it's your home, your business, your restaurant, your bar, whatever it could be. And then just setting that intention of what you want to come into the space. So for wanting to bring in new opportunities, brightness, lightness, um, joy, happiness, health, and well-being, just really setting that intention for that energy to come in. And like I said, it's so easy. Just open the doors, open the windows. Sometimes I'll come in with the feather fan and I'm just kind of combing the space, clearing things around just to kind of break up that energy that's stuck and stagnant and welcoming new energy. So that is our card today. It's called Clear the Air. So I invite you to, uh, to partake in that ritual if you don't already in your sacred space. So um, going back, I wanted to just share with you all who this podcast is for. So this podcast is for any entrepreneurs, business owners out there that are in the hospitality industry, and you're looking to enhance your space or future spaces that you're wanting to create that are more mindful, that have a holistic approach, and you're aiming to create an environment that promotes health and well-being. So just being really intentional about the spaces that you're creating for the community, for your clients, that's who this podcast is for. I will be sharing lots of tips and tricks, but also just diving in with other business owners, just like yourself, talking about what's working, how to build community. Uh, there's going to be segments where you get to ask me questions if you're currently stuck and also design on it. So if you're currently have a space, you have a restaurant, you have a bar or a spa and things just aren't going right, you quite can't put your finger on it and you know it has to do with design. I'm happy to do those audits and we will be sharing those shortly. And those are one of my favorite things to do. So I can't wait to dive into that. I wanted to give you a little bit of background on who I am just in general. I'm not going to go too deep. I, I figure there will probably be a whole episode about that because I know a lot of my clients really do want to know where, what my background is, where do I come from? Why am I doing what I'm doing? But I'll give you the short story 
basically in high school, I was extremely shy and quiet, um, super introverted. I still am. But in order for me to get out of that shyness, I put myself in drama. So I signed myself up for a drama class so that I could get out of that shell. And I, I did for the most part. Um, I did some acting. But what I really fell in love with while I was there is set design, costume design. And I really, really wanted to do that. But I grew up here in San Diego. I did not want to leave San Diego and go somewhere where theater was much more prominent. So I took a look around and I found that interior design creates um, that same creativity that I love doing in, in creating spaces and environments for people to interact in. And so I went to Grisman College, which is a junior um, college here in San Diego, and then eventually switched over to Mesa College, which had an interior design program. I thought I would just get my associates there. A lot of the teachers that were teaching at Mesa College, San Diego Mesa College, also taught at the Design Institute. And I figured if I could just get myself out there, put my foot in uh, some door, and then see if I needed to get a bachelor's degree, then if I did, I would, I'd go back to school. But the biggest thing for me was paying my own intuition. I come from a very poor family, so I really wanted to not be in debt um, as I entered the real world, which I did right when I turned 18. So got my associates, went to school. I got my first job in a showroom back in, well, my first job really was in 1999 uh, when I worked at Sears. I was in the home department and um, I was doing custom window treatments, selling uh, furniture, small appliances, bedding, bath, all of those things. Um, so that probably also kind of infiltrated that idea of design um, along with the theater stuff. And ever since then, I worked retail. I worked retail in showrooms for quite a while until uh, the beginning of 2011, where I um, decided to take a little break. I had my son, my oldest in that year, and then I started working for another interior designer, assisting her with her projects and running her business and getting real life experience in that space. Along with the showrooms, I, I did do a lot of ordering, you know, all of those things. So got tons of experience retail, working with the public, huge life lessons there. I got to connect with local artists as well as local designers. And then again, that propelled me to work for another designer. I created a new business, um, gosh, in that time when I had my son, it was all for baby rooms and playrooms, and that slowly faded away, and I, I got more clients in, in other departments. And then I went off on my own completely, um, away from the other designer in 2014. I was on my own for about four years, and then I teamed up with a friend of mine. We had our business together for four years, from 2018 to 2022, and then decided to dissolve that partnership. Um, and go back off on my own. And in 22, I launched my first podcast, the Holistic Interior Design Podcast for the up and coming designers. Launched a membership group called the Design Coven for them as well. And this year, I really wanted to focus on my own in particular interior design business. I was helping so many others. And that comes to this past year. So I was designing a beautiful space, um, Bibblewax Cider Works in North Park. It is a combination of a coffee shop, a general store, a giant beautiful cider tasting room, a secret bar in the back, the restrooms and, and the like. So that project launched in March of this year, uh, March 1st, 2024, the doors opened. And throughout that process, I reconnected with the love of design and um, how special it is to create spaces that are for the community. I was doing a lot of high-end residential remodels, building you know spaces from the ground up. And before that, in 2018, I co-designed a space with my friend. And that was a speakeasy, which was really beautiful and lovely. It's one of my favorite projects. And so it just really connected me back to these communal spaces, spaces that are built for the community, spaces that elevated the people around it. And that really made me want to focus in on that niche. And with that, I was like, oh, I, you know, I really, really want to come in. The other thing I didn't mention is I went to school for feng shui. So I'm certified in classical flying stars feng shui that happened in 2014, 2015. 
also really got into Reiki, became a Reiki master in 2015. So I've been integrating a ton of spirituality, energetic work in interior design. So when you work with me, I'm extremely mindful uh, with the energetics that are happening within a space. I do space clearings, I do blessings. I connect with the space, see what it's wanting. There's just so many layers that go along and that's part of why it's called holistic is just all the intention layers that are that are involved. And I got to do that uh, a little bit with Bivouac and I'm watching it and I'm seeing how amazing the owner has created environments in that space to connect the community. And shortly after that, I got approached to bid on a non-alcoholic bar, which I was like, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. They want to create experiences and I want more of that. So I thought what better way to kind of dive into this head first than to create a podcast that is centered around this very particular niche and for the clients that I want to serve. These are the people that I want to do business with. These are the other business owners that I want to collaborate with and create magic and do amazing things together. So, you know, that reason of just being inspired, wanting to connect with all of you, um, wanting to niche in. And the other thing that I really wanted to do was to be there with you all kind of in the trenches as you're creating your business, as you're, you know, developing your brand as you're creating environments that people are going to be connecting with you on. I just wanted to know what your pain points, how can I serve you? What can I do? How can I be, you know, of service? What kinds of tips and tricks and things can I give you that I've learned over the past couple of decades in interior design? And eventually I would love to be your designer. So I want to meet you. I want to know you. I want you to meet me. I want you to know me and I want to work together. So this is just a way of putting myself out there to open the opportunities, the doorways of collaboration with you. And then lastly, you know, I think I, I spoke about this, but, but jumping in head first. So I obviously do not know everything that there is to know about holistic hospitality design, but I want to learn and I want to connect with other people. And I know that by having a podcast that gives me a platform that I otherwise would not have been able to connect with others on. So I want to meet with other entrepreneurs. I want to meet with people that have the same clientele that I do so that we can serve together. So thinking of um, website designers, branding agencies that serve the entrepreneur realm in the industry of hospitality, have people that are mindful and intentional that bring all of this together. And so I want to learn and I know that by doing this, I'm going to get that information and you're going to also learn too, because you're going to be on the ride with me and we're going to learn together. And I'm just super excited about sharing everything, connecting with people that are in this space, sharing my knowledge and creating amazing, beautiful, magical environments for our community because um, i just know that when we create these healing environments these healing spaces we can definitely change the world that we're living in we can be connected at a different level i feel it with my clients i know it's happening and i want to bring it to a wider audience so expect all of that um, these are going to be sort of mini episodes so think 15 20 minutes unless we have a um, a guest and those might be half an hour 45 minutes so just really places to kind of stop in, get some tidbits, get inspired and ask your questions. So I'm an open book. Feel free to connect with me. I will be sharing uh, a link shortly in the show notes on a segment called Ask Rachel. So if you've got some design dilemmas or questions energetically about spaces, feel free to ask your question. I want to do that in voice form so that you can hear your voice. I think there's something very powerful about our throats and our voices. So by being able to hear you, I think other entrepreneurs and business owners will be able to resonate with you as well. And don't forget that we'll have design audits. So if you're interested in that, let me know. There'll be 20 minute design audits and um, they're going to be so fun and fascinating. And I'm just super stoked. So I can't wait for episode number two. We'll dive in deeper on what the heck holistic interior design is. And uh, until then, Good luck with all the things and we will see you soon.